on one of our many car rides to the park last summer, he tells me that he is fighting all the bad guys. Demands that I take him to Toys R Us so he can get a few weapons, he tells me he is Michelangelo. That pizza gives him superpowers, he then, well, he demands that we go get pizza. And as he looks at me, with eyes more honest than moonlight blanketing the coolness of like his mouth moving faster than my ears can keep up with, I stop him, I ask, Corey, what exactly are your superpowers? And he begins with everything a five-year-old boy knows about superheroes, pulls out Iron Man's powered suit of armor, tells me things like, Auntie Cookie, did you know that Iron Man has a heart that's different than everyone else's? He tells me that he flies like Superman, has the strength of Batman, goes on and on about how fast he is, makes a bet that I can't beat him, and I laugh. Relishing in the cool my five-year-old nephew has to offer, but when I take him home, his imagination becomes lint tucked into the corners of his jean pockets. Tears roll down his face as I promised that I'd be back to take him to a secret lair in the park again. He peels off the mask, throws his cape in the corner, all things his arch nemesis sees as useless, calls her mother. In her first lesson, teaches him how to become a rigid casing of testosterone. She tells him to stop being a punk I watch as he becomes origami folding himself into the corners of his body, watching this boy become polygonal. Man, this is her way of making him tough, telling him where the tears go, training him how to swallow his hurt and produce clenched jaw and fists, making him dead weight, showing him how to bench press his sadness and straighten his smile. Her second lesson teaches him the definition of his skin color when she calls him little nigga. His eyes become vacant. He drops his head tilts his body till it's too much to carry forward, and he always responds with silence, the type of silence that leaves bees buzzing in the back of his throat, and I wish I could blame her for making her words a breathing machete, tearing into his powered suit of armor known as a heart, but I know all too well the system that turned her concrete, teaching her that black boys are less than superheroes, that they are the sum of their father's mistakes. I want my nephew to know that the only thing dangerous about him is that he has all the powers. That as a man, his secret identity could be anything from teacher to doctor to father to simplify himself. So this summer, on every car ride to the park, I will tell my nephew that we live amongst superheroes. They are called black boys. Thank you.